Now, um, I think that's everything we're going to talk about as far as difference of squares. Now we're going to talk about sum and difference of cubes. So we'll start with a simple case. So um, when we're doing this, we have um, x squared minus y, or sorry, x cubed minus y cubed. So we need to have something cubed plus or minus something cubed. That's how we know we can use this method. So it's difference or sum of cubes. Okay, well, we have that. We have something cubed minus something cubed, so we can use this method. Now, um, what, let's see, I'll just write it down. So a plus or a cubed plus or minus. So a plus or minus b, then a squared minus plus ab, always positive, b squared. Okay. So this is the formula we're going to use. So what the a and the b are, in this case a is going to be x, it's whatever's being cubed, and then b is y. And then we determine this based on what we have here. So since we start with a negative sign, we're going to follow the bottom of everything. Okay. So I just do a minus b. So I do x minus y. And then a squared, which would be x squared. Now I'm following the bottom, so I choose the plus sign. And then we do a times b, so x times y, or xy. This one's always a plus sign. And then b squared, which would be y squared. OK, and that's everything on that problem. And then we'll try one more. I'll keep this formula so you can see it. Um, so let's do 64 x to the 6 minus 125 y cubed. So the first thing we want to do is determine our a and our b. So let's do that. So what times what times what would make 64? Well, that's going to be 4. Um, we could raise 64 to the 1 third on a calculator, and that would help us determine that as well. Now x squared times x squared times x squared, because we added 2 plus 2 plus 2 would make this 6. And so x squared is a part of our a. Now b is going to be 5y, because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, and y times y times y is y cubed. OK, so we do this. Once again, it's a minus sign, so we're going to follow the bottom. So we, um, we write down a, 4x squared, minus, then we write down our b, 5y. So that's the first group of parentheses up here. We start another parenthesis. We square a. So we have to square both pieces of a. So 4 squared would be 16. x squared squared would be x to the fourth. We're following the bottom because the original was minus, and this tells us where to follow. And so we get a plus sign. Then we have to do a times b. So we're going to do 4 times 5, which is 20. And then x squared times y is just x squared y. This sign is always positive. And then we square b, so 25y squared. And that's everything. So if you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.